Hello, hi everyone, and welcome to the Reward of Not Knowing group. I am Alexander Demetrius, and thanks to my pal uh, from Team Alexander, Valerie Anna, um, who encouraged me to create this group, we are here together. And um, it is my intention to share my journey, my travels, and uh, you might say the wellspring of knowledge I've accumulated over the years so that we can all venture out together to manifest what it is we truly wish to desire in our life. And not only for our own needs, but uh, to manifest things that the world is aching to have from each of us as uh, creative artists, because we are always creating um, and generating. It's just a matter of picking your palette. Um, I want to start this live feed off by thanking the newest and original OG members of this team, or team, yeah, team, um, by welcoming uh, Chris Strickland, uh, Jim Marks. Jim, you're always a fan favorite around uh, my live feeds. I appreciate it. Of course, Valeriana. Um, Joyce Sweeney. Thank you for your comments to my blogs, my posts. I really appreciate everything that uh, you have been uh, sharing with me along my journey. Um, by the way, how's the audio? I am without my other earplugs so, or earphones, so this is the best I could do on short notice. Um, I also want to welcome Kim Leroy. I, I believe I'm pronouncing that properly. Um, Kyan Howland, and um, yes, that's going to wrap it up. <laughs> um, we are a few but mighty, and uh, we are just starting off. So, ooh, looks like a new feature. Tap on any viewer to invite to be in your broadcast. Wow, that's amazing. Well, speaking of amazing, before I get into that, let me just show you this astounding gallery that I am presently speaking from. Now, if you're wondering how much it costs to get into this joint, zero. Zero dollars, zero euros, zero pounds. It's free. Um, that's something I find that uh, Europe is really on the uh, cutting edge of just giving its best to, to its people for the people. Um, so uh, we've covered the introduction, the hellos, the thank yous, and um, the welcomes. So let's get right into it. Um, the purpose of this group <coughs> is to share with you the uh, teachings of one of my gurus. Uh, he will not be the only gentleman I will introduce nor is he the final authority on um, any of my concepts, but his name was Joseph Campbell. And he wrote The Hero with a Thousand Faces, which along with his other works, inspired George Lucas to create the Star Wars trilogy. And uh, he then coined a phrase called the hero's journey. And what that is, is a narrative or a theme that when he studied mythologies from all around the world, found that this common theme kept popping up in stories related to a would-be hero or heroine. And what the theme is, is a sequence of events that any uh, would-be hero or heroine goes through uh, when setting out to achieve something that has never been achieved before, whether it's in their personal life or in the world itself. Uh, volume is soft, but can hear you. Okay, let's get this the mic closer. Is that helping? Um, let me know. So, in fact, here, let's do this. Um, it's best to just give the best you can, even if you're a little cattywampus along the way. So, um, how's my volume? Check one, check two, mic check. That is better, Valerie says. Thank you so much. 
So the sequence of events uh, in the hero's journey starts off with um, a calling. You might say an inner voice that tells you that the world or the circumstances you find yourself in are just not congruent with what your heart is desiring. And um, so it involves uh, the calling. But in order to uh, heed this call, you need to be either forced out of or voluntarily move out of the world that you've always known. And that involves the crossing of a threshold into the unknown. Um, and once you cross, cross that threshold, you are then met by mentors and um, guides who traverse and cross your path. But the path must be involved with what it is you truly love. And uh, it's a term that uh, Joseph Campbell's made famous by telling his students at Sarah Lawrence College to follow your bliss. Um, whenever a student would come up to him and say, do you think I could be a writer? You th do you think I could write? And he would uh, tell him, well, do you think you can stand 10 years of not making it? And if you have the courage to follow the risk, then doors will open all along the line, just like they did in this amazing gallery. Um, <laughs> so once you have crossed the threshold in the direction uh, that you feel is your greatest joy, you will be met by uh, key people that are in the industry or in the craft or in our or um, the scene that is related to what it is you want to do. Um, for me, I ran into several people who were um, writers in their heyday, uh, editors, uh, people in the ar arts movement, and um, these people evoked qualities from me that were even peculiar to myself. And so, um, what do you do with these gifts when you find out that there is more to you than uh, meets the eye? Well, what the would-be hero does is once through training, exercises, conditioning, mentally, physically, or otherwise, uh, you, uh, you generate these new talents that uh, are even new to yourself, you then go out into the world <coughs> and attempt to achieve something with those talents that the world has never beheld before. And you're the only one that can do that. So um, that is what you would call the return. Uh, basically, the hero's journey is a departure, a fulfillment of your innermost potentials, and then returning to share the boons or the gifts of your talents with others to inspire them to uh, become free from their own self-limiting uh, beliefs. Um, because there's always naysayers out there that say it cannot be done until it is done. And uh, so as for myself, um, I was once uh, living in California and kind of a nomad of sorts because that was my only way of fulfilling my heart's desire to travel, though I wanted to do it globally. But uh, there was always a bill that got in the way or some something that just uh, never allowed me to um, achieve what I wanted to. And really, it was only myself that was standing in the way. But I uh, did not figure that out until recently. And thank God life is not a race. So I have stopped comparing what others have achieved and done with my own life. And voila, you know, I found the strength in myself to, and the courage to move beyond, um, here, let's change the, the view a little bit, uh, my self-limiting beliefs. And if there's anything that I can share or bestow upon uh, all of you, as far as the purpose of this group 
is we are all here, not as followers of Alexander Demetrius, um, but as people who are like-minded, who have the same uh, desires, wants, um, and dreams to walk alongside one another and uh, share their input, share their stories. Um, this is journey that we are all going to go on together in this group is only made richer when we are all sh uh, participating. So if you feel that uh, other people will, uh, this message will resonate with other people, please uh, share the group, invite them. Uh, but I do invite all of you to um, be participants. Um, you know, I have started uh, writing again, and one of the things that I have am putting out there is basically my most vulnerable self. But in doing so, that is how you get people to connect and relate to you, uh, because it shows that we, at the core, are all human. And I am very much human, but I am uh, also having a human experience as something that was never created and will never die. Um, so on that note, uh, we've covered the hero's journey, we've covered the introductions, and um, I would be doing this normally outdoors, but uh, it is raining in Dublin. Shocker. <laughs> but uh, there's something absolutely beautiful about uh, the rain on this island. I once lived uh, on Oahu, an island of a whole other um, climate, and uh, it was fantastic. But now I'm on this island, and it also is equally beautiful in its own mystique, history. Uh, there is something that is truly special about the inhabitants here who are the nicest people. Um, but again, I'm also leading with an open heart. Uh, I, at one time, I was afraid of the vulnerability of walking around with an open heart uh, because um, it got uh, trampled on quite a lot. But the lesson is not to close it, but to recognize that the more um, it is opened by the things that have wounded it, the more light can shine through it and also shine into, back into it as well. Uh, so being open and vulnerable is not necessarily a bad thing, uh, provided you are setting personal boundaries, very important. And uh, these are all ideas that I will expound upon um, as the uh, group continues. So without further ado, and if she is available, uh, I would like to invite Valerie Anna to the conversation to contribute. Uh, so give me a thumbs up or uh, let me know if you're available. Thanks for sharing your open heart with us, Joyce. Oh, Joyce, always a pleasure to be of service. Um, so testing, one, two, Valerie. I'll give her a moment to respond. Aside from that, um, I see we have several viewers on. Please let me know where you're from. Uh, if uh, you are joining me for the first time, I really appreciate it. Of course you are, because this is the very first broadcast for the Reward of Not Knowing group. Um, this is very exciting to me, if you can't uh, already tell. Uh, I'll give you a little tidbit on uh, myself. I have authored a book called The Reward of Not Knowing. A hero's inward journey. I can join in text at a moment. Okay, terrific. Um, so uh, the book is my memoir of growing up with a mother with multiple personality disorder, and it follows uh, the hero sequence of events of um, having a calling. I felt like the life I was living was not the whole story, and so I, in order to remove myself from that, I needed to voluntarily um, cross a threshold into the unknown, and uh, not only physically, but mentally, and consequently, I ran into mentors who evoked these qualities in myself that were even peculiar to myself, 
uh, and then I utilized or learned to hone these gifts and um, achieve uh, all kinds of feats that I would have never thought were possible. Um, but in order for something new to come, something old has to die. And there is a version of Alexander Demetrius that is long gone and dead, and probably in 10 years, not probably, definitely in 10 years, the version of that you're, ta you're seeing before you is going to be a figment to a new version uh, down the road. And um, so uh, please let me know where you're from. What do you think about the gallery? Um, if there are any topics you would like to touch on, I will be happy to have a um, two-way conversation or invite everyone to participate and give all of their input because this is not just about what I know or what I can uh, impart on you, but what we can share with one another because I'm always growing from each and every one of the people who follow my um, fan on my author's page on Facebook and uh, even Instagram. I am learning how to become a better photographer, how to allow my eye to um, find out the best way to capture a moment. Um, so uh, I literally just received a phone call that I have to take. <laughs> so um, I will be uh, only a couple of moments more um, if now is not a good time for you to um, to join in, Valerie. Uh, well, I'll give you a moment. Everything works out um, when it needs to. Um, however, uh, I appreciate everyone's patience. Again, uh, this is the Reward of Not Knowing group that I categorized under the... Um, category of travel because there is a book called um, As a Man Thinketh and there's a beautiful line in it that says you cannot travel within and stand still without one of my favorite lines and um, as I started to go inside myself and weed out all of the limiting beliefs that were keeping me stuck poof, uh, the world outside began to change. And so that's basically the idea. If you want the outside circumstances to change, change the interior and the outside will follow. Uh, so I am um, still open to anyone commenting where you're from, what do you hope to achieve, any questions for myself. Uh, there's, um, yeah, I'll wait. Do, 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 do. How is my volume? I'm trying not to talk too loudly. And I'm kind of a nerd, but um, <laughs> that's probably self-evident. Well, you know, if there are no further questions, I must be uh, going, but I will find uh, another time to, uh, I see Valerie is losing a connection, okay. Um, but I will find another time to broadcast again. Uh, please leave in the comments below uh, ideas for future talks. Um, and if this resonates, uh, also um, if you have questions or topics you would like to touch on, this is a group effort. So it takes teamwork to make the dream work. Um, and with that, I, uh, I bid you all a fond uh, aloha from the National Gallery of Ireland in Dublin. Um, have a splendid day, afternoon, evening, and good night. Aloha.